So we're back down here at your place. Taking a look at this here. We've got Paul going up in the attic. He's getting ready to get your lights and power. Getting ready to hook up some power vents before it gets too hot. Looking at this right here though, there's paneling. And then another layer of paneling under that. There's two layers. Yep. We're gonna take it all down. Right there. Okay. I'm gonna replace that piece with white like it is. Another piece over here we're gonna replace right to this left side of this thermostat. We got Paul up here in the attic. How's it going up here, Paul? Oh yeah. He's, in, he's on the roof. Changing out that vent right there. Somebody disconnected. They just cut the wires for some reason. And then we're gonna install another one back there. We're gonna cool this attic down. These pipes are sweating so bad. It's getting so hot up here and wet that uh, it's causing condensation to literally run down the walls down here through our light here in the kitchen into the, the bedroom walls where it's just falling the ceiling running literally down the walls here over here it's terrible um, it's running from up up top with the AC units right there you see the little spot on the ceiling it's just for any everything it's just so wet up there that it's tearing this paneling up so we're gonna do some panel replacement and get that attic so it's dry that's gonna be our main objective today see go I'm gonna look on the other side and see what that board looks like from the back look pretty bad yeah, we got this piece tore out um, how far along is Billy with his painting I'd say what happened here was that the uh, attic was sweating so hard because it didn't have any um, power ventilators in it, which we're installing two of. Um, did these pipes, when it gets so hot up there and so cool down here, um, that they sweat. And that's what was buckling out this stuff here. And then, of course, the uh, return air is right here, which draws a lot of cool air up that wall. Um, and then you got that heating unit up top with the heat and everything. The back wall here was completely fried. We got some condensation on that wall over there, but that does consist of window, trim, all this removing of a lot of stuff. So if we get to that, we'll get to it. If not, that's the last thing I'm going to worry about today. I'm going to worry about the most important things, which would be the two power vents, sealing my doors back there, putting my paneling back up here painted, and putting my paneling back up here painted and get everything looking good. That's where we're at right now. All right, I went ahead and installed a new one here, and I went ahead and cut a new one in over here. We got power running to everything, and um, that's going to bring all the air from the outside edges through them gable vents right here to the center, which will draw all that air straight out through the center, oh, which is going to cool this attic off and make it not sweat so damn bad. It was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 